What does the future look like for Alpatari star Pierre Gasly? This is a question that I think is not only on the mind of myself, but other Formula One fans, because Pierre single-handedly is obviously carrying the Alpatari team. Yuki Tsunoda is not really living up to his expectations. And I think Pierre is very capable now as he's improving his craft and as consistent as he's been. I believe he deserves to be in better machinery. But the question is, where does he go on the grid as far as the team is concerned, uh, I, I've thought of, of a couple options, and I'm curious to see what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Um, Mercedes, I think, is only an option if Lewis Hamilton leaves. I'm not sure who would be the replacement for Lewis besides George Russell. I think Mercedes in the future could be a potential replacement. Red Bull, I don't see that happening at all. Not to mention, I don't want Pierre to go back to Red Bull. And it, it strikes me as very odd when people claim they're fans of Pierre, but they kind. But I've seen fans claim they want him to go back to Red Bull. That was such a toxic environment for him and i just think regardless of where they are now i still don't think pierre should be in that environment i just don't think he'll be as productive as he's been now uh in the alpatari environment which seems to be much better for him and we're seeing those results out on track like i said mercedes possibly if lewis hamilton retires whether that's two years from now we don't know uh red bull like i said off the table i don't see them doing anything different with max obviously and uh, sergio for quite some time ferrari i think the lineup of charles leclerc and carlos Sainz is doing way better than people expected prior to the season so i wouldn't touch ferrari mclaren i think is maybe uh, a potential opening uh if daniel ricardo doesn't get his form back um i'm not sure how long McLaren will try to hold on to Daniel if he cannot, you know, produce more consistent uh, results uh, alongside Lando. I think a Lando Norris Pierre Gasly lineup at McLaren would be very interesting and kind of fun, but I'm not sure if McLaren would go that route. And then the rest of the teams essentially are mid tier teams that in my opinion, uh, based off of this 2021 season, would completely be a downgrade for Pierre Gasly. Now, of course, going into next season for 2022, some of those mid-tier teams, one or two of them could actually be, um, or I should say midfield teams would actually be uh, potentially a front runner to maybe compete with the top four teams and the constructors as we speak, but that's not a guarantee. So where does Pierre go from here? Does he simply just stay with AlphaTauri and just really help that AlphaTauri become a very competitive car that can actually compete with the likes of the Red Bull, the McLaren, Ferraris, and even the Mercedes? I'm not sure. Where does Pierre Gasly go? Where do you think he should go? If anywhere, or does he just simply stay with AlphaTauri? As I just said, it's a very tricky situation for Pierre because again, there's not not a whole lot of openings for him based off of the current driver market and how teams are looking for the future. So I'm not sure where he goes. I would say for now, the best bet is to have him stick with that AlphaTauri and for AlphaTauri to really, really focus uh, for that 2022 year and season to get that car very competitive. And I think that will benefit Pierre a lot more than obviously going back to a Red Bull or obviously any other team that probably won't have a spot for him, at least for the next couple of years. So where do you guys think Pierre Gasly should go? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and we shall take it from there. As I appreciate your love and support on the channel. Make sure to subscribe here for daily and weekly Formula One discussion content. Unfortunately, is all the time I have for you guys today, but I will see you all later. Goodbye.